This is for teachers. What are the five ways in which we can encourage respect in the classroom? Number one, model respect. Now, as adults, we were not necessarily uh, taught to respect children. But the best way in which uh, children can learn, the learners can learn how to be respectful, is if we are respectful to them. So if you want um, to interact with a child, there's nothing wrong with saying, please excuse me, and using those polite words. That is one way. Model respect. If you're in the classroom, uh, you find that there are many uh, schools where they don't necessarily have staff rooms and teachers are required to stay in their respective classes. If that's the case, please do not badmouth another teacher, another colleague. Why? Because the children will hear. And what that does, it makes them lose respect for that teacher you're talking about and also lose respect for you. So model respect. Number two, discuss the res respect with the students. Ask them, what do you think respect is? And allow them to come up with ways in which they can show respect in class, at home, you know, in the field. Let, allow them to come, with, uh, come up with the examples and then they'll be able to follow through the examples very well. Number three, praise respectful behavior. Catch the children being respectful. Now, why is this important? We are always looking uh, to ensure that our children are doing the right thing. And so many times we catch them doing the wrong thing. Let's flip it and catch them doing the right thing. When a child is respectful, praise them, as in make a big deal out of it. I've seen uh, some schools make, make it, uh, a, you know, take it a notch higher where there's a student for the week and all that, so that it becomes something that the children strive to achieve. Number four, create a visual chart. So what does respect mean? What, how, how can the students show respect? You can create a visual uh, art or a flip chart or something that is pinned on the wall so that the children can be always looking at the visual uh, description and be able to tell, uh, for me to be respectful, this is exactly what I'm supposed to do. So depending on which class you're teaching, if you're teaching the lower classes, please use as many pictures as possible. If the children are way older, you can use catchphrases, which are very, you know, they are very um, eye-catching eye so that the children can be able to follow through and try to be respectful. Number five, Play games that promote taking turns. So for you to train them to be respectful, you know, devise or come up with games that require them to take turns so that they learn to listen to one another. As we've said, they learn how to respect each other, to give each other an opportunity to take a turn so that now they learn that they will not always be fast in doing things. They'll require to, you know, pause and wait a while before they are allowed to take turns. That is another way in which you can teach children in a classroom how to be respect respectful. Mm -hmm.